you know, the pandemic has made us rethink a lot of things in our lives, and we've talked about a lot of them here on the show. Because we've got Queen, uh, fashion queen Jeannie Becker with us today, of course we're going to pick your brain. We're going to take <laughs> advantage of the opportunity to talk to you a little bit more about this one. So, you know, during the pandemic, during COVID, uh, I was still selling my Tracy Moore by Frida's mm -hmm. line. We had a conversation before we went on air with that remotely, and you said, Tracy, people are in a very different mind space right now. We're not so much going to talk about clothing. We're going to talk about how we're feeling. Mm -hmm. And I respected that perspective so much from you uh, because I think it is what people needed. They didn't necessarily need to be talking about T-shirts. They needed to be talking about how we're feeling about some of the things that we've bought and how we're feeling about shopping mm -hmm. again. And it was the right move because things have changed. Yeah. How do you see things changing in fashion uh, during this pandemic? Oh, wow. I mean, there was such a great awakening about myriad things, mm -hmm. as you know, um, during the pandemic, one of the, the silver linings of that dark uh, cloud. But the way we started thinking about our wardrobes is much different, of course. We got married to comfort. Comfort, yes. comfort, comfort, uber alles. You know, nothing yes. else seemed to matter. Uh, I... I'll, I'll speak for myself now, too, you know, as a kind of, you know, the average woman with a lot of stuff in yeah. her closets, because I have more than one, <laughs> you know, started looking at this stuff, thinking, what have I been doing? Why do I need all this stuff? I mean, I've been trying to, you know, get rid of stuff, of course, over the years. I don't hang on to every piece, but I'm sentimentally attached to a lot of yeah. these pieces, and I love them, and I, I, I just, you know, they make you feel good, so you, you don't want to just cast them aside, and I'm thinking, where am I ever going to wear this again? I may never put on a pair of high heels again. I may right. never wear that slinky, sexy cocktail dress again. And I started thinking, you know, we definitely don't need as much as we've got. You know, so this whole idea of less is more yeah. um, has become very important to us. And we started looking at our clothes, you know, like the junky stuff versus the real quality stuff, the stuff yep. that we really do want to hang on to for a long, long time. And I think... This whole idea of, of shopping better has really come into the fray now. And I think a lot of us are really adamant about the pieces that we buy. We want them to have longevity. We want them to be versatile. Yeah. We want to wear them in different ways. And, of course, we want them to be comfort because comfort has not gone anywhere. I think we're more into comfort than ever. Even for, you know, fancy dress affairs, we want to make sure... We're comfortable. Uh, well, kind of, but, you know, below the ankles, that's a questionable thing because some people <laughs> are like, I'm never wearing heels again. You know, I yeah. am wearing heels again. Me too. And uh, you can kick them off under the table. 100%. <laughs> Maybe I don't wear them for as long as I did uh, exactly. before the pandemic, but yeah. I'm still in the heels. Yeah. And I got in them fairly quickly after being in my slippers for three months. <laughs> but so here's the interesting thing. We had sort of like sne was sneaking slowly into the conversation about sustainable fashion mm -hmm. before the pandemic. You mm -hmm. and I would talk yeah. about this a little bit at TIA. See, now we're in it. People are looking around. I look around at my closet. I'm also disgusted. Why do I need all of this stuff? And so we're sort of in this uh, phase where it's like, do we need these $7 pairs of pants and these $14.99 yeah. jogging pants? And, and, and what's happening that we can actually buy clothing that cheap? How do we get more sustainable pieces? And so TSC mm -hmm. is moving in that direction. The buying better thing is happening on a more mainstream level. Yeah, absolutely. There, you know, transparency now in fashion is really important. People yeah. want to know how it's made, where it's made, is it made ethically? I mean, that's yes. of utmost importance. And that transparency, um, you know, it has been welcome because now we understand that, you know, certain things, certain brands, just not so good. Uh, this cheap and cheerful throwaway fashion is like very passe. Don't yeah. do it. Um, you can also shop vintage in a most wonderful way. Hopefully one day we'll get some cool vintage pieces That'd of TSC. Awesome. That's something we're working on. But vintage shopping has never been hotter. Yes. And, you know, why not? Um, yeah. But I think that we really want these pieces, too, that are uh, made by local makers yep. a lot of the time. You know, we take a lot of pride in who we are in this country and like, let's support our own local artisans, designers, manufacturers. Yeah. So this Made in Canada... Uh, idea has never been sweeter. So uh, it's interesting because some people will make the argument that when it comes to sustainable fashion, you're not going to get it in plus sizes. You're, it's not going to be accessible for folks that have less money. But I think we're going to get what we need to do is get to a point where we really 
bring home that argument that you actually don't need 30 pairs of black pants. Absolutely. I so would instead rather of wearing that. all of those black pants, mm -hmm. you buy the one good quality, ethically yeah. made, locally made pair of pants, and hopefully you don't lose too much weight or gain too much weight, and you can wear them for like a good yeah. 15 or years. Or hopefully the fabric has a lot of stretch Maybe in it. Maybe it just stretches. <laughs> yeah. But that's what we Absolutely. need to get into. Yeah. That's sort of the road that we're on mm -hmm. now. So everyone can just have sort of these beautiful beautiful capsule collections that we wear again and again and again and we need to kind of start yeah. normalizing that. Just make sure that you don't just like it, you gotta you love, love it. And you should it. love it. And that that's the way, yeah. I mean, even when it comes to home decor, you know, yes. like don't surround yourself with Cheap tons of tchotchkes that, you know, like yeah. surround yourself with things that inspire you. So yeah. when you dress, choose those pieces that are pieces that are really going to elevate you, empower you, and yeah. lift you to the next level. And make you feel amazing. Jeannie, thank you for that. Oh, thank you. Such a good uh, 